this does that. Okay, coming in from Unbreak Cable is the, well it's described on the back as the wireless charge mic, wireless car charger mic, but on their website it's called the auto clamping wireless car charger mic, so the, I guess it's the same thing, in the same words in some way. I apologise for any noise you can hear in the background, I'm currently getting the bathroom refurbished, but, and my dog's not terribly happy about it. Okay, so this supports a 5 watt, 7.5 watt, or a 10 watt fast charging connection. A QI certified charging, the auto clamping design, which is very sleek. You've probably seen ads on Twitter and Facebook for these ones that you just set your phone in and they clamp in around it. And then it's got 360 degrees rotation, adju well, adjustment for rotation. Uh, there's a few more specs there if you're interested in the frequency bands and all that kind of stuff and battery capacities. 60 milliamp hours. But yeah, it looks like a, a fairly decent little device. The box is a bit dusty, so it may have been sitting on the shelf of Amazon, or perhaps it's a return. Okay, so we have the Unbreakable Instruction Guide, which is in various different languages. German, Spain, Spanish, French. So, we'll start here. This is a clamp that allows you to either clamp it to the windscreen or onto the dashboard. Stick that to the dashboard and this goes on here. That's glossy plastic. There's a bit of adhesive there as well to put it in there and then moisten that. And this appears to be the the arm that things latch onto. It's all plastic. Um, that looks to be a metal screw through there with plastic ends to it. And then you tighten it with that. And, oh, right, okay, there are, there are steps that you can obviously hear that it clicks into and then holds it in place. And then this one here moves that in and out like so. And there's a ball on the end which obviously something attaches to. So the more you tighten it, the tighter it gets. Fair enough. This is a, another piece. <laughs> you turn this, and oh, I'm guessing you tighten that and it clamps down like that, like a vise, with another ball on the end. That must be for putting into your vents of your car, which I will never do because <laughs> there's nothing more expensive than replacing a vent of a car. And then this is the actual clamp itself. So we would put the ball in thusly and then tighten it up when we're ready. And we can twiddle it round, twirly twirly, and get it into the position, position that we want. So yeah, oh, it, it is all plastic around here. There's a couple of screw holes around the back there. And then uh, these little feet are uh, like a transparent plastic to make it look a little bit more chic as opposed to just being plastic down there it might be a look a bit cheap if they were black feet and they were plastic um obviously we haven't got it powered up so these don't move just yet there's a usb type c that goes in at the bottom there those must be the buttons to pop it open whenever it's in operation and what we'll do is we'll get it up and running um i'll Temporarily set it up somehow, I suppose. Because we get a USB Type-C. Ooh, it's quite a stylish one as well. It's identifiable, so if you're in the car and you're wondering which one's which, you can pull it out. I love it whenever cables do that. They just make that makes that little bit of difference. Ah, uh -huh. okay. We have a little bit of life. We have some LEDs down here. Oh, 
Okay, so looking at the user manual just to see exactly how this works. See there's little uh, indicators there as to the size of the film that you're putting into the device, which is kind of useful. And once you've done that, you press the button and it expands open. We take the device and we set it in and it clamps around it, quite simply. There we go. And then we go to take it out. We hit the buttons and it releases it, which is great. You can see here that it's showing that it's fully charged at 100%. I'm wondering how we, if there's a way that we can turn it off charging as well. I don't see any particular way. That's a fair point. When we were looking at it, it's got a 60 milliamp hour battery in there, so that's, uh, that allows you to ensure the, re the release buttons work when you turn off your car, if in the case of my car, it fully powers down whenever I open the door to get out. But I don't see any notes or anything to say that whenever it's reached full charge, it stops charging, which is a bit of a consideration, I suppose. Um, it would be nice for you to be able to say, oh, look, it's hit 100%, stop easing with the charge. I'm sure it's not going to be the fastest charge in the world, it's not going to destroy your battery immediately, but it's one of those considerations that people want, um, that they may not want to charge their phone constantly. Obviously the power goes in here, which kind of defeats the purpose of... <laughs> It's some centimeters away from the actual power on the device. But, uh, you know, if, if that was to have plugged in back here, but then you wouldn't be able to use the, the, the vent. Uh, it, it would have been a little bit more discreet when it came to charging. But uh, I suppose once you get it all in, you don't have to worry about it. Because one of my biggest bugbears is whenever you're driving down the motorway and you realize your phone isn't actually charging because you've forgotten to plug this in, you have to pull over to attach the charger. In the UK, you have to pull over, turn off the engine, uh, put up signs saying that you have no intention to drive currently, and then charge it. Hey. But yeah, I think that's, it's pretty swish, it's pretty neat. I like it. I'm going to be installing it in my car this afternoon. I will be using it like this, clamped onto the window, uh, because I prefer stick, uh, sticking it to the window than attaching these things to the vinyl on the dashboard. But it's nice that it has that option. My wife would probably use that if she was <laughs> to have this. The plastic <laughs> could feel better. It really could. Um, it does feel that it's quite kind of cheap plastic, especially around this. But then again, it's not something that you're really going to focus on and see. You see this and but then this is the same type of plastic ah pressing the button afterwards uh, bring retracts the arms so you don't have to worry about them getting damaged but i suppose that's you setting the phone in so yes that, that button would work i apologize i'm being a dunce this morning yeah i i like it i'll put it in see how it goes Okay, so here we are in the Tech Addicts Mobile, and uh, I don't know if you can see that it is during the day, but there's a little bit of red LED um, here that just about glows a little. Uh, we've got it hooked in via USB down to the cigarette lighter, and uh, it works. Okay, so we put the phone in thusly, and it clips in around it. Very, very simple. Uh, we can turn it, as we as we like uh, I try to keep it as straight as possible because the cable I have here doesn't have much reach on it but it works rather well for removing you just have to hit actually one button and it'll open up and you can lift it out it doesn't do it automatically it doesn't detect you coming close to it or anything but I thought I'd bring out another device which doesn't actually fit so it is just as simple as being able to push this button up here and it causes it to close, press that button and it opens. That's all it does. No sensors, no nothing. And you can fiddle around with that obviously depending on the size of your phone. But some of the, the more eagle-eyed folks may notice that I'm not actually using the 
the stand that came from uh, Unbreakable. I'm using uh, this official Samsung one uh, because it was already in, it's at the perfect height and I was able just to unscrew the back here and attach it on to the, this one. So I just, the other one needed to be adjusted an awful lot and it sat out quite, quite far uh, from the windscreen and I was just happy with this being right here. That, that's where I need my phone when I'm driving. Not that I would be touching it, but I can see uh, sat-nav and Google, Google Maps as required and also it's, it's close enough to my face that whenever I ask it to do something it does it usually so to be honest I'm, I'm quite impressed with it it's a lot cheaper than some of the other options that are available it looks quite good uh, it doesn't look fancy enough that someone's going to smash in through the window and actually steal it it just looks like a, a typical phone holder and I'm just noticing that the rain is beginning to start so I will uh, bid you adieu. So let me know if you have any questions down in the comments box down below. Hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. And remember to tune into the Tech Addicts podcast on a Sunday afternoon and it's available to download. And tune into TalkSport on a Wednesday morning for Inspect Your Gadget. And other than that, take care. Have a happy new year.